This conference will now be recorded. Yeah, just I have a question. Did we do we have the recording class nine or no? We don't have it finally. Nine means which date? I'm not sure. Jamal, nine. Jamal. Yeah, did you find it, Jamal? Maybe Jamal find it. Yes, yes, yes. I have in my uh, document, but when I open it, and uh, it's not. Uh, I mean, uh, it's not a voice. It's just document. Oh, oh okay. 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 So. Okay. So. Okay. Jamal, I opened the PIR. Yeah, can you enter it, please? Which material? Same material? Yeah, the same material, your material, yes. Okay, okay. And uh, now there are so many months that we put the quantity 100, 110. And uh, Correct. that's the end of the PIR, we save it. But do we click the okay. schedule, uh, schedule line? Okay. If, if we schedule line, the value of uh, is showing here mm. that uh, uh, 12.67 and the material mm. is uh, one. So why is uh, showing here that much? You mean to say difference? Yes. Value. No, not, the, not, the, not, not the difference. Suppose uh, you plan for 100 cars. Correct. Each car is, uh, as you mentioned, in mm. the in the previous, uh, you know, uh, screen, which mm. was uh, a forecast, and uh, mm. you mentioned in material in the forecast also six hundred dollar for mm. each car. Okay. So hundred cars should be goes uh, six hundred. So its value is different. Okay, let me check. Maybe there is a labor, labor and uh, uh, not only in the car, you know. There is a labor in the car and a lot of stuff. Yeah, here you can see in material master I opened material master in accounting view. So what is the price here? 126.77 per one piece. Yeah, but. When you create, uh, uh, okay. what you call before that, I just give you one okay. second. Uh, one second here. When you create the forecast MD61, you put hmm. the price 600. Oh, I did not remember that 600. But uh, material master. Uh, but in PIR, we won't put any price. In, uh, in forecast, I think we won't you won't put any price there. Uh, in uh, in MD61? No. Yeah, in MD61, we will put only quantity. That time also, I put only quantity. This value automatically calculates from the uh, material master. No, this, this is the PIR. But I'm talking about MD, MD61. Okay, I'll go. This is creation. Okay. Mm -hmm. So here also I did not put any price because it won't ask any price here. Only the quantities. Yeah, this is a. Uh... This is MD61, right? Correct, correct. And uh, how about, just give me one second. Uh, MD04? No. We never put the price anywhere. We never put the price anywhere. Yeah, correct. OK. Anyway, so the schedule line, whatever the schedule line price says, this is correct? Yeah, it is coming from the material master. In the material for one piece, it is 12.677. Okay. 
now in 200 it is 12,670 okay okay all right so Nicholas you are asking any question no 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 I don't have any question racing is okay, okay. I believe yeah yeah thanks thanks okay. Watson. I appreciate it yeah thank you so I am going to our regular class yeah so any questions on this production order yesterday we discussed uh, conversion to production order and release production order we discussed these two yesterday any yeah. questions on these two topics uh, not yet but we are still working on it yeah okay so once you release the production order means it is ready to manufacture ready to assemble the product mm. okay so physically you can uh, uh, produce the product and before this I can say one more thing also let me see I want to see one production order so for example this production order open in CO02 enter so actually you can be printing also from the production order if you want to give a printed production order to a shop floor to manufacture mm -hmm. open your production order in CO02 okay open your production order in CO02 yeah. and here in the menu order yeah go to the settings and click on print yeah you can see once again I am showing order settings go to print mode click on print mode here you can select online background whatever thing you can select online and click OK button continue mm -hmm. and save this okay ho hold on uh, if you go <laughs> one more time because I want to take this screenshot yeah. uh, six uh, uh, CO02 uh, two one. Yeah, zero two. Yeah, can you? Is it possible? Can you go go back? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right here. That's fine. Okay. Okay. In this CO zero two. Hmm. Uh, there is a other tabs so only we need to display overview that's one tab yeah correct okay all right go ahead next please. and here go to the menu order settings and print mode okay just one second okay then after yes. that we have to save it yeah you can see you will get a small pop-up button yes. prints mode you can select online yeah and click ok now you finally you can click on save button okay so at the bottom you can see saved mm -hmm. let me see whether it is fully generated or not generally you can see the spool in sp02 transaction code okay. sp02 sp02 is, is what sp02 spool generation there is no printing printer setup i think 
that is no printing effect artist today today that is how you can do the printing but here it did not printed actually okay let me print it let me check Spool is not generated. I'm checking that. Okay. yeah okay spool will display like this you can see hello okay, now what is uh, what is the spool um, yeah is, would you SP say the spool, two? which is spool, spool means print spool yeah. means print yeah print means so, uh, uh, print the Production order. Production order. Correct. Okay. You okay. can go to SP02. And then you can see here spool number. Now, when you click the, when you put the SP02 and click, this screen will come. Yeah, correct. But before it was coming, it was a different screen was coming before it is a different that is i opened different transaction code i see okay just one second okay now okay. what we do okay. that what we do that print the order yeah here you can see the details like your production order uh -huh. this is your production order okay you can click on this type click on this type button okay okay so this will open this is actually physical print preview if you take the printout this will come as your print okay, this, one's okay. this is having you can see your material number your order your quantity start date finish date mm -hmm. your operation details so this print out we have to give it to the manufacturer right Correct. We will give to the shop floor people. Okay. So you can see operation, components, mm -hmm. work center, mm -hmm. quantities, everything you will find it here. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All the operation details. Okay. So here I am putting like print, print production order. Yeah, I'm sorry. I saw the uh, well, so I saw the quantity is this 50. It should be 500. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. I'm. I. I actually I printed the another order. Oh, okay, okay. But even so, the second one like uh, okay, okay. Most of them 100, 150 or whatever. But no problem. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Let's okay. see. To see spool, you can go to the SP02. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, print production order, you will go with the CO02. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, is it clear now, taking the printout from the production order? Uh, let me see the. 
CO02, you did it. Okay, good. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now I am going to the another step. Next yeah. step mm -hmm. is confirmation of production order. You can see production confirmation. Okay. So once the physical production is completed mm -hmm. once the physical production is completed mm -hmm. you will do the confirmation in sap okay okay this confirmation mainly two types okay one is called the time ticket confirmation This is also called as operation wise confirmation. Time tickets. That is one thing. And another thing is order confirmation. Okay. Number one is, is order, order confirmation. confirmation. Yeah. So time ticket confirmation, it is also called as operation wise confirmation and we will use the transaction code CO11N. CO11N. This is a, yeah, this is a transaction we will use for order wise confirmation. We will use CO1515. Okay. So what is this? Uh, how we will execute these two i will explain you okay first is time ticket confirmation that means each operation wise if you want to confirm you can use this transaction code okay one more time each operation yeah each, each, each operation, operation wise, uh -huh. you want to confirm the order each operation wise means for example, I am going to our order. Any order CO02 mm -hmm. to check order, you will open the CO02. Okay. In this, you go to the operations. It is nothing but a routing operations. So here you can see you maintain the four operations okay fixing engine fixing tire fixing electronic device and painting you want to confirm each operation wise like first operation you want to confirm fixing of engine is completed so you want to confirm that okay so operation wise if form you need to use the first transaction code time ticket confirmation okay co 11 n Okay, so now I will open this transaction code and I will show you the details here. The navigation for this is logistics, production, shop floor control. You can see separate folder confirmation. So here. click on enter and here you can see for operation you have a screen for operation expand this and here you can see time ticket c 11 n okay so open this the transaction code so this is a screen it will appear time ticket for production order so here 
this is as i told you operation wise confirmation so first you need to enter here the production order you can see order okay order number we will enter here for example our production order number is this one cu 162 example okay 162 is our production order And what is the operation? Zero, zero, first number. Zero, one, zero. So these two details we will enter here. Yeah. In time ticket confirmation. First, we need to enter the order, then and enter operation number also. That is 0010. Operation okay. number, uh, uh, that's the from the previous one in the number wise on the left side, right? Correct. From the production order. Okay. Can, okay. You, go, can you go one more time? Production order, I want to see the operation number, please. I am opening production order in display mode. CO03 okay. display. Okay. And operations. Operation. And yes. the, the, which one? The first one, right? Yeah, correct. First one. 001. Okay. So that means each operation wise, each activity wise, we are confirming. Okay. So now I am going back to time ticket confirmation. Once you enter these two details, then press enter. Okay. Yes, press once. enter. Okay. So once you press enter, mm -hmm. system will display what is the description, what is the material code, what is the work center, plant, all these details it will come. Mm -hmm. Okay here here you click on the actual data click on actual actual data, data. Mm -hmm. yeah then system will propose how much you need to confirm yield here system will propose how much you need to confirm to be confirmed okay mm -hmm. so i'm just clicking actual data so you can see here this order is having the 10 quantity. You need to confirm this 10 quantity if you manufacture. Okay. For example, out of 10 cars, you manufacture five only. Okay. So then you remove this 10 and enter five, press enter. Means. Uh... Okay if you deliver five cars right yeah five cars is assembled I not see. delivered deliver means customer delivery we are not doing the delivery as a production person i have now i have assembled only five cars i see that too in the first operation only 10th operation yeah okay and to assemble so five cars you can see here enter the mission time this is the planned time as per planned it is a 10 hours but it took only five six hours and labor is maybe a 30 hours these are actual values earlier it is planned values proposed from production order now how we calculate this six hours i am we are not calculating physically in the business okay what are the actually took time to assemble these five cars that actual time they will put it here 
You are overriding the routing now, the routing value. Correct. Is that right? Yeah. Correct. The Means data earlier it came. Yeah. Now, who gave this machine uh, and labor uh, times? Business, business people. Business people, I see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Once go live is over, they will enter the, all these data. Hmm. Consultants won't enter this because their uh, their yeah. daily life is to confirm this one all. So this is not our job or responsibility. They will do it. Yeah, correct. After go live, they will do it. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. But okay. So now, for yield five, you are using activities like mission is six hours, lab is thirty hours. Mm -hmm. Okay. And in the bottom, if you want to enter some details, if employee is there, he is having the employee number. So we can enter that number and here if they want to change the timing you can enter the time also. Okay actual time these are actual times when they started assembling and when they finished this assembly they can enter. Okay and in the bottom under the text mm -hmm. you can enter some text also some information. Okay, for example, extra labor, extra labor used. Okay, for arranging engine. Okay, you can enter some information, text information. Okay, these details you can enter, and finally, you can click on save button. Before that, we can see confirmation type. Here, partial confirmation, final confirmation is there. That means earlier, actually, it is production order quantity is 10. We're confirming completely 10, 10 out of 10, then you can select final confirmation. I'm sorry. Out of 10. Uh, we yeah okay the five is means a partial confirmation yeah correct so when you five is part yeah so when you yes, do the yes. ten then you put the final confirmation correct I okay see. if you are doing a partial confirmation you can change this into partial confirmation and you can do okay just one second let and, me discharge yeah. Once you enter all these details, mm -hmm. then you save. finally, yeah, finally you need to click on save. Okay. It is saved and in the bottom you can see confirmation of order saved. Okay, just one second. Yes, in which case we can use scrap and reward and reason for where uh, yeah. just to us yeah. yeah yeah i will tell you yeah thank you yeah okay okay now this we did the confirmation for first operation only first right. operation mean in the production order if you go here i'm opening the production order once again just for one car, but not tire or other stuff. That is components you are saying. Yeah, for car only. We are discussing about the car assembly. Tire we will purchase. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to the operations tab once again. Now here you can see first operation is there. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you go right side further. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is operation quantity. That means as per plan, you should confirm the 10 quantity. Mm. 
but your conformed you can see conformed yield is 10. Okay, okay, just one second here. Okay, it will update automatically in production order. Yeah. Okay. So, like this, we need to confirm the remaining operations also. Yeah. One by one. Okay. One by one, we need to confirm the remaining operations. Mm -hmm. First operation means now we fixed only the engine. Right. Now, next, we need to fix the tires. Right. So, we can open again second operation that is number 20, 30, 40. Okay, go to the time ticket, enter the same order number, and now you need to enter this second operation that is 0020. Enter these two details and press enter. It will give you the details here and click on actual data. You will get the Man. 10 yield. Yeah. Okay. Maybe now, it should give five. Is that right or not? Uh, in this case. Yeah, yeah. Actually, not? we will give only five. We won't give the yeah. 10. Because engine is assembled five means tire also. You will go here five. Okay. Yeah. Now. Okay. It does mean it doesn't engine, pick up. It doesn't pick up what uh, we make a ticket for the first uh, first operation. Is that right? It yeah. doesn't pick up yeah, the fiber from the yeah will not okay. correct yeah it won't pick up okay okay got it so now after engine fixing you did some quality check and you found one car is defect okay after engine fixing you did the quality check and you find one car is defect and you don't want to use further that means you can do that as a scrap if you cannot use that one you will put that as a scrap so out of five out of five one is scrap then good cars is only four uh -huh. I see. okay scrap mean getting wasted you cannot use that so that so is called you... scrap when you put one and you enter, this will come automatically for? No, no, it won't come. You will I see. Manual. All this data you need to enter manual. System will not calculate. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry, but so maybe scrap. the operation 20, it was the fixed tire, not the fixed car. Uh, Correct. Not the, not the quality. I believe the not right? the quality. No, this we not are the talking quality. about. We are talking about the tires now, right? Yeah, while fixing yeah. the tire, mm -hmm. one fixing car tire, you yeah. found, yeah, it is wasted. Yeah. Okay. okay. In yeah. fixing the car, you found one car is got wasted. You need to scrap it. Okay. okay. So, and then can we change the machine and labor too? Yeah, you can change. These it are. Would be update alone, no? It would be update. It oh, won't okay. Update. I will not update. You need to enter. Yeah, okay. you will enter actual. These are actual values. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So that is a scrap. Mm -hmm. Okay. For example, I will show you another example. Just one, okay. one second. One second. One second. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, scrap means you cannot use this product. Mm -hmm. Okay. That car is all got wasted. Tire, you tire, use is, it. tire is wasted. Not tire. Yield is from car. Yeah. After assembling the tire. Okay. After assembling the tire, mm -hmm. after fixing the tire, mm -hmm. you found that car. Okay cannot be used it so you scrap it for so example th so these are the four cars but not the tires yeah 
not the tires. Okay. Four car, it is not completely assembled. It is first only engine is assembled. Now we are fixing the car. Okay. Now, for example, you found that engine is not fixed properly in the previous operation. In previous operation, engine is not properly fixed. So you can do rework that. You can send back to again to the tenth operation and ask them to fix it properly. So then that time that is called the rework. That is not a scrap. A scrap means completely cannot be used. Rework means you, you can send that. back. Yeah, you can send back to previous operation and ask them to rebuild it, rearrange it. Okay, that is called the rework. Okay, and here in the bottom reason for variance, you can put some reason here why it is rework or why it got scrapped. Machine malfunction or operating error or defect material. Okay, what is the reason why it got scrapped or reworked? Machine you can put that. Okay, anything you can put. So after entering these details, you can save it. Okay. This we are saving for second operation. I see. Okay, just one Okay. You can save this. Yeah. Click on save button. So uh, this operation also got saved. Confirmation of order saved. Mm -hmm. Now if you go and check your production order once again. Here there is no refresh button. You need to go back and open once again. Once again, open production order. Go to operations and check here. This operation quantity is 10, but you have confirmed only four. Okay. And If you want to see that uh, rework one where you enter, you want to see means if it is not coming, okay. So if you want to see rework, how much is happened means you select this I saw operation. confirmation error. I saw one confirmation error, one monk colon. Maybe this one rework or no? No, second, this operation is rework, okay. You want to see yeah. that one, select this select this line and click this first button operation details okay okay if you click that button Here, yeah. yeah, here you can see quantity by activities in this tab. You can see confirmed yield is four and river quantity is one. Okay, in the production mm -hmm. order, also you can see the details. And here you can see to be confirmed actually, as per plan, you need to confirm this is ours, but you confirm this is ours, mission hours and labor. Okay, so these details. You can check in the production order. Jamal, is it clear? Yes. Yeah, okay. So we have confirmed two operations 10 operation and 20 operation. Now I am confirming these 30 and 40. Together? 
no 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 separately you Separate. cannot confirm together yeah okay because you highlighted so, two so that's why confusion. yeah yeah correct correct no. one by one meaning yeah so same production order and enter 30 operation press enter okay. now you, uh, you can click on actual data and enter replace this with the four only because you confirmed only four and you can change the hours here maybe this is five hours and this is five hours okay and click on save button okay so same kind of operation details one by one if you have the 10 operations you need to do like this 10 operations yeah. if you want operation wise yeah. and then i am entering the 40 operation and enter actual data so you confirm only four you can enter four and this timings you want to change you can change and you can save it so is it clear this operation wise confirmation any questions not really it's, it's not easy, okay yeah. yeah it is clear yeah it is clear okay so now for example you don't want to do operation wise confirmation okay you have four operations but before you are completed, shop floor they are completed. Okay. Uh, well, Directly you want to do one one second, yeah. sorry. When we complete yeah. the number fourth operation, it means uh, yeah. there's the final completion. Uh, final completion. So when you complete the Correct. last one four, but you did not uh, drop down the final confirmation. Oh, okay. Final confirmation means you confirmed the total quantity. Then you can select the final confirmation. Out of 10, we confirmed only four. I see. Final okay. confirmation means okay, total okay. quantity if you confirm, that is a final confirmation. Okay. 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 That yeah. is quantity, not the last operation. Not that. Okay. All right. Okay. Now you are trying to say that you want to confirm the uh, all operation in one time? yeah correct okay. okay now you don't want to do operation wise confirmation you want to confirm all operations at a time okay order wise you want to do okay sure. so mm -hmm. then i am taking another production order 161 mm -hmm. okay this is a production order another production order mm -hmm. and if you go to the operations mm -hmm. so this is fresh production order okay mm -hmm. and this quantity is 100 100 quantity and confirmation is yield is zero okay no yield is confirmed now you want to do op complete this order all operations are completed okay all operations are completed you want to do for complete order so you can use another transaction code that is co15 co15 okay. yeah you can see here confirmation all orders you can see for odd says uh, co15 for for order i see yes for order if you open here so you enter here this is initial screen enter production order confirmation initial screen okay just one second please all right go ahead okay then press center here there is no operation we don't require to enter any operation here because it is a order complete order wise you are doing okay and here what is your planned quantity is 100 you can see it is showing 100 okay out of 100 for example you want to confirm only 60 you can enter the yield as 60 
you manufactured only 60 and press enter okay only the quantity you will enter here and you want to put some text here you can put a text okay some text you can put it here only you enter the call quantity yield out of 100 you put the 60 and radio button you can select whether you are partial confirmation or final confirmation we are doing only partial you can select a partial okay once you enter these details you can click on save button just one second. This is another way of doing production order confirmation. Okay. Okay. Can I ask a question? In best practice here, we do the first uh, method or the second one usually? Which one? Yeah, that use? depends. There is no best actually as per the business needs. Okay. For example, uh, fixing of engine is taking one day. Okay. Fixing mm -hmm. of engine is taking one day. And then tire fixing may be another one day it is taking. Then today labor has come and they fixed the 10 cars engines only. So after this, end of the day you want to confirm that how many they have fixed today in general yeah so that time you can go with the operation wise confirmation okay in another example all your four operations are completing in one one hour only yeah like okay got engine it. fixing yeah, tire it. fixing painting everything is completing in one hour so yeah in that case yeah. better to go with the order wise confirmation Okay, for 15 okay, minutes or 10 minutes you need uh, operation wise confirmation so okay, business need wise you need to use it okay okay got it okay. Okay. now i am clicking on saving button save so the production order confirmation is completed you can see confirmation of order 161 is saved okay now if I open the production order, I am opening the production order now. So, and I am opening the operations. Click on operations, and here you can see, you can see. You can see all operations are confirmed. But, uh, 60 60. Quantity. It's 60. Let's yeah. See. Okay. okay. Just one second. Is it clear how to do the confirmation? Yeah yes okay okay clear yeah. okay now i will show you two more transaction codes like we have another two transactions related to this confirmations i will show you what are those go to the production shop floor control and under confirmation you can expand you can see the transaction codes display you can use this transaction code co14 to display your confirmation confirmation details okay this is display confirmation one is display confirmation okay for this, you can use the CO14 transaction code. That means, what is the display means? Like a display production order, 
you want to see only confirmation display you want to see the details in the confirmation so you can open this transaction code enter your order number okay and press enter only enter the order number and press enter so in display mode what you did the confirmation like quantity partial confirmation everything you can see okay just one second yeah okay this is only to check whether what you did earlier yeah. that is called the display confirmation you cannot do any changes here right okay mm -hmm. this is one transaction code and in this confirmation you have another transaction code that is called the cancel okay what is cancel means cancel means for example you take this order actually this order yield is 50 only by mistakenly you put the 60 okay by mistakenly you put the 60 but actually it is assembled only 50 quantity so in this example what you can do is you can cancel this confirmation and redo confirmation with only 50 quantity okay how to cancel it? Yes. yeah how to cancel is mm -hmm. we have a separate transaction code co13 transaction code for C cancel co13 uh, okay so you yeah. cannot go and change it and see to cancel it you cannot change it from yeah to there is no change yeah. no change you okay cannot, Con yeah yeah okay you cannot change it only cancel and reconfirm just okay. like Sorry. your material document is there material document once you posted is it yeah. possible to change it otherwise they will steal it correct okay so yeah. you will change the goods movements you will cancel the goods movements and you will do the re goods movements same because way here yes uh, because yeah. everything come on a uh, documentation you know correct yes so here cancel the confirmation mm -hmm. oh, open the confirmation uh one three uh -huh. And enter here also the production order only. Mm -hmm. Enter production order mm -hmm. and press enter. And press enter. Yeah. Okay. So it will display, you can see confirmation of production order cancel. Yeah. Here you won't do any changes here. Okay. And just press the save button. Cancel means nothing but a, open this transaction code, enter your production order, and then click on save. But we did not mention any, I mean, uh, 50 hours. No, that again you need to confirm. I will show you. This is only first step is cancel. We are canceling it. Okay. It means cancel the all 60s. Yeah, correct. All 60, you are cancelling it. Okay. Click on save button. Once you click on save button, it will open actually the Word document. I'm sorry, say more, one more time how you did this because I did not pay attention. Yeah. Okay, one minute. Just Once one you click on save button, it will open Word document. My system. Can you okay. can you go back again, please? One minute. Uh, in this system, there is no Word document actually. Otherwise, it will open actually Word document. In this training system, I think they are not installed Microsoft. Okay. 
okay what what did you cli uh, click the word document should become yeah one minute i will show you templates microsoft allow you click on save yeah as soon yeah, as you yeah. click on save yeah. yeah correct yeah as soon as i click on the save button you can see you will get this word file word document file okay here you will enter what is the reason for cancellation why you uh, reason what is the reason to cancel okay yeah, you will enter you, uh, hold on one second please when you cancel the order and you save it when you hmm. save it then the word document come automatic correct correct automatically it will come okay just one second please when you save Okay, Word document, when the Word document come, and then we have to yeah, make it next. Yeah, correct. And then you can come back. Click on back button. So in the bottom, you will see the message. Confirmation of is cancelled. Okay, uh, I want to see this one more time because uh, when you start the cancelling uh, with the transaction code uh, uh, CO13. Okay. C I, I think you cannot, is... you cannot reproduce it. You cannot reproduce it because it's already cancelled. Is that right? Yeah. No, you can display on a CO13, no? CO13, you cannot do. CO14 you can display you can see already one is there one is cancelled so you cannot see any again it is there no confirmation has been carried out okay once again I will do the confirmation okay now 60 is cancelled now you want to correct to 50 so correct to 50 means again you need to confirm once again open the co15 okay enter your order 161 mm. and enter here the yield 50 okay just one second now please okay okay Okay, once you enter the 50 and then you will save it. Save it. This is confirmation. So that means you want to correct means first you need to cancel that and then once again repeat the confirmation. But when you save the save it is the uh, is there any message comes? Yeah, it will come as operation is saved. That's all. At the bottom. Okay. Now, if you want to see the production order once again, CO03, mm -hmm. same order, mm -hmm. and go to the operations, mm -hmm. and you will see the quantity as 50. You can see. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Just one so. Second. So, Nicholas, is it clear? Confirmation of production order? Yes, yes, yes. Cancel. Absolutely. Cancel this. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Thank How you. is your practice? Uh, I, I start today to practice because uh, you, to let you know, I have an emergency in my car project. That does mean the car, you know, the car system, it's a P car. So, I almost move forward very well. I have two tasks to finish. I'm almost finished very well. I will start to practice today, you know, maybe tomorrow. We'll start to come tomorrow. But for me, you know, most of the stuff, you know, I, I know a lot of stuff, but I have to practice absolutely. You know, I, I, you know, I have to pass by this again one more time, you know? Okay, I'm, I'm yeah. sure I can go, I can, I'm sure I go fast, but I have to go one record after other, one record after other, and they will do one by one, MRP1, MRP2, MRP3, MRP4, 
then I will do routing, then I will do bomb, bomb and routing, then work center and uh, uh, production order. You know, this is what I will do. Okay. So, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so that's why uh, what I give him an option. I mean, uh, his I I gave him an idea that uh, after we finish the class or before we start the class, we have come together and uh, work together on a uh, on the production planning together. In this way, yeah. uh, some of the transaction code or some of the steps. Yeah, if I don't uh, remember, then he remember. I have a screenshot. He has also picture. So in this way that we have to move forward and uh, practice pretty good. Yeah, correct. Because if you not practice, you yes. will forget. No, you I, will yes. If you practice it, you will you will get the more doubts. So I can explain you the more. Yeah, Otherwise, I, yes, you yes. will completely forget. Yeah, I work uh, today in a work center. If you check my work center, I think I yeah. did it. And, uh, okay. uh, you know, and then I work with the info record. So I am moving forward as per our class. Yeah. I'm trying to. Yeah, but, uh, but, I, but I call you yeah, two days ago when he told, I promised you to call you. I call you, but you, know, you didn't take the call. Uh, I, I set up everything in such a way to start to work okay. together. But okay, Nicholas. Okay, Nicholas. We have to we have to uh, uh, set up the time before the class starts, like yeah, one yeah, hour yeah. one hour every day, and then we yeah. will uh, we will uh, you know complete this uh, project. You know. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, what well, was just to give you an idea. Uh, myself, I I am pre month uh, MRP a few times in my life, like in 1999, 1998, 99. And uh, okay. and I apply, I implement uh, another one like the last year, to uh, for uh, AFS. But what you are explaining is very interesting. Is uh, I, uh, myself I I implement MRP in the procurement side, but you you are implementing the MRP in production side. I I, I like it, you know. And I worked okay. in the two years ago with SAP Direct to validate okay. the MRP and production planning for AFMS, you know. Yeah. But what, okay. but your your presentation is very good. You know, this what we need. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. I appreciate. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Arthur. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So I will stop the class for today. Okay. Yeah. We will meet yeah. tomorrow again. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just ask your yeah. question, okay. Wasu. I have a high yeah. level question or a general question. Yeah, tell me. Do uh, do yeah. uh, do you will have some document for uh, it's for HANA PPE certification? Do you have some things like this, like a question and answer for the certification? For example, if we feel we can pass the certification, no, no. 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 Okay, no, so I also also I want to say uh, the all the transaction codes that we are doing right now, master data. Do you have any? documentation step by step mm. step by step documentation i don't have but i will check yeah, yeah in this actually, way yeah in this way yeah. as a we are your students so you have to help us you know so give us a documents that we can practice on yeah sure i will i will help on that okay oh, okay thank you i will check and let you know okay okay yeah. sir okay. thank you Okay, thank you. Yeah, okay, thank lot. you. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Have you. a good day. Have a nice you day. Have good night. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye.